Hello, and welcome to today's video. This was one of the decks from my stream team stream. So technically this should go up tomorrow, but this deck is way more fun than anything I've played in a long time. It has some really weird combos using Moon Girl and Quinjet. My personal favorite is getting two US agents and just winning a lane using those and messing up your opponent. If there was something that stole cubes, it was US agent. Other than that, this plays like a pretty straightforward uh, Moon Girl, She-Hulk sort of deck. You wanna soak, you wanna build up your sun spot. You wanna do all that good stuff. Makari is in here not to make a crazy Moon Girl Makari play. It's to empty out your hand and get some power on the board. Please give it a shot. It's so much fun. I don't, just do it, just play it, have some fun, enjoy yourselves. I don't know if this is the most competitive deck I've ever seen, but we win some games that really there was no way for the opponent to see it coming. Enjoy and let me know your thoughts. All right, so this deck is just called Molwyn Moon, and it has, like I said before, it has Makari in it. And the goal for Makari is not necessarily to hit it with Moon Girl. That's a, a, an interesting play, but the luck on that one, whew. How long has the stream been going for? Uh, 36 minutes. Breaking news. They're a Phoenix Force deck, oh no. Okay. Just go Ravona, I think. But, I mean, the idea of getting two Makaris out with Moon Girl seems acceptable. Uh, in reality, there are a lot of other things that you would like to do instead. Oh, man. That doesn't feel great. I mean, this is a snappable one because we're about to ruin their Phoenix Force, but I'm not going to do it. Not right now. I think they wish they had multiple man and Aunt May's. Aunt May, perhaps. Oh, no, man. That sucks. And we got Moon Girl. So Moon Girl will copy... I kind of wish we played Sunspot now. Man, we don't need Phoenix Force. Maybe we could just Moon Girl next turn. Ah, we screwed ourselves up. I think I just I'm just gonna play out Phoenix Force and Sunspot. We flubbed it. What are they playing? A Phoenix Force Loki deck? Blazer, are you watching? I mean, they have they have a copy of this and uh, I, I bet they don't understand what's going on. You like the idea of a Phoenix Force Loki deck. I think it's uh, strange, strange nonsense, which is fine. Double Sage is what I'm, I'm relying on. I mean, we have double all the good stuff that we could want. What a weird deck. What are they playing? I'm about to juice this up. Morph. We have morph in our deck? All right. Here. Man, our left lane is going to get obliterated, though. I don't know if that's really what I want to do. Yeah.
We could just morph and see what happens, though, too. This is a weird one. Please hit She-Hulk. Yes. Yes, indeed. I don't even understand how that worked, but it did. Mule? That's acceptable. No stress. Double US agent is so nice. That was a, yeah, that was a cool play. I'm a fan of that. I did not envision that being that good, but that was kind of cool. <laughs> Clip it and ship it, y'all. Uh, I feel like Loki always wants a secondary win condition. I like putting Quinjet, Snowguard, Coulson, Loki with different archetypes. I think it's an interesting idea. I And I think they could have won that if we didn't have the double US agent. Uh, all right, Makari, this is your chance to prove your worth. Please go left. Distorted Punk, thank you. First time chatter. I'm doing my darndest. <laughs> I don't know what they're playing, but it feels it feels like bounce so far. Come on, Makari. I mean, we have armor, so it's maybe not a big deal. Um, Ravana. White Widow. Oh man, you're just a degenerate, I guess. All right, I get it. I see where this is going. We got Moon Girl and we got She-Hulk on the left. Got some things we could, oh my gosh. <laughs> we are getting smacked. Um, But like, that's the value of Makari in this type of deck is we didn't have to layer. We have power out and it's the most power that we currently have, so that's good. We're gonna need armor or else I think we have to retreat. I can't, unless She-Hulk could hit something really good in Tarnax, but with my luck, we'll hit an Ultron and it'll lose us the right location that we've worked very hard to win. Oh my gosh. Are they going to attack the right lane again? I think I, I just got to try something different. I mean, I that's disrespectful and annoying, but we can still do what we want to do. We don't have Quinn Jet. Yeah, free energy. I mean, I don't really know how to handle this one. Without armor, we just lose. Two more power rights, so basically no matter what, we don't win the right location. I don't know. I think we have a shot. I don't think it's a good one, though. I don't know that they would expect us to lay armor left, is my main thing. I think uh, the only way that they win left at this point is if they somehow can get an Echo to stick over there. <laughs> Maybe they've got a Shauna. Maybe they have a three drop they throw into Tarnax and uh, it, it gives them Shauna and it chucks an echo left. Okay, you win right. Nice job. We are the future. Well, well, well. I mean, that's another good one. Victory. Guys, I feel a little 
big for my britches today. Not like I've had too much food, like these decks are just, they're working for me. Something's wrong. I like this deck a lot, though. The, the flow of it. I always, uh, when I get toward the end, and I have the choice between Moon Girl and something else on four, I don't feel like I prioritize Moon Girl very often, but I think Moon without Moon Girl, you get your butt kicked. Okay, come on. I don't even have a variant for Morph. What am I doing? I gotta change that, that's bothering me. Also, need a little caffeine. G Fuel, not a sponsor, but if you want, you could be, I guess, is what I'm saying. It's very awkward to type while standing like this. Devilish underscore play. Let's see if I typed everything correctly. Go follow Devilish. Good freaking dude. Welcome, welcome, sir. How are things going? Are you enjoying? Are you enjoying your rest after the Snapprentice is finished? I know, that's what I'm thinking. That's a bummer. So U.S. Agent doesn't really help us that much against... Oh, shoot dang. Makari, come on. What could we get from Morph that would make us happy? Because they're just going to blink it. These are bad draws. I should not have snapped when I did. <laughs> That's not what we were looking for. <laughs> oh man, we just helped them so much. They knew what we were doing. You've secretly been judging all my streams? No. Please, no. Opponent snapped. I think we could we could just guarantee a win left with US Agent. I just don't know what to do with the final turn at this point. Gosh. Devilish, you're checking me out to see if I'd be a good fit for next season. The answer is, oh, gosh, dang it. Can Sage win? Mid? Ah. Cut off one head, two more shall take its place. No, so here's, you're fine. My thought process was like Moon Girl needed to go somewhere. Uh, Sammy, that's a really good question.
How did the right destroyer survive, though? That's the problem uh, currently. Because that's what I was banking on. Because uh, usually things... It wasn't technically on the board. Okay. Now, if I had... Just hold... Just, um... Just a thought. If I had just not played Sage and Moon Girl, I would have won. That's a bummer right there. I feel like there's a... That was not... How do I say? Like, that just wasn't a very intuitive turn, I think. Because the outcome of that one in my mind should have been that the left destroyer destroyed the right destroyer because it looked... It appeared as though it was on the board. I'm not, I'm not really, I'm not upset about it. It doesn't really bother me that much. I just think that's interesting. Who knew? Not me. All good. But if I just soaked with Sunspot, we would have been good. Oh well. Oh dude, Havoc, I'm so stoked. I have an actual variant for Havoc. I don't even care. It was a strange one. Ooh, would you look at that cost reduction? I can't do, I can't do crazy stuff. Yet. That's fine. Grapple hooker, what's up? Thank you for the follow. Good to see you. I mean, I'm in a, a bit of a pickle. I'm just gonna soak for now. I think next turn we play out Havoc. Um, but I, I'd love to get Moon Girl, because that'd be that'd be a good thing. What turn do you play Havoc is a great question. <clears throat> I think the previous turn would have been a fine turn to play it. Oh, Lufku, what's up? Welcome, welcome. This just doesn't work out nicely. Also, go follow Lufku. If you if you don't already. So I mean we have a couple of options. We could play double She-Hulk. We could play US Agent, but it doesn't seem that good. Oh, hey, second dinner. Your game's broken. Morph. It's leached. It just doesn't show up as though it was leached. I mean, if they had one bigger target, that would be good. So mid, we're going to lose four power. So are they, but we're going to gain seven. They win left. Oh my, what are they playing? Oh, it, it Colson. Good lord. 
Uh, they took my sage. Dude, there's no way on earth I could have seen them. Okay, all right. All right. Hey, you remember I said this earlier. I was like, oh, man, I'm feeling a little too good. I feel like things are going too well. This is what happens. I need to, I need to rein it in. I don't need to play out four cubers. What am I doing with my life? Let's breathe. Let's get morph a variant. Okay. Let's get him a variant. That's got to be the thing that's dragging us down. Luca Claretti. Sure. Surely must be fantastic. All right. Now we're all breathing. We're good to go here. <laughs> 8-bit, good morning. It's good to see you. Background is the best scene from the movie. Yep, yeah, this uh, I've had this sitting in Discord DMs for a while from Bitwiddle, and I, I freaking love it. It's it's nice. I don't play Groot decks, but it just kind of it felt nice. Luke's bar, not very helpful. Just brewing some decks and relaxing, sipping coffee. You sure you don't want to? Sip a nice G fuel. What are the what? What are the bad things? Oh gosh. Um. I was gonna say, what are the bad things that could happen? There's probably a few. The state of Groot in this game is a travesty. I don't disagree at all. Oh, this is so good. If only. If only. No, we do freaking this and we get a moon girl mid. The woodpecker sighs. The bark on the tree was as soft as the skies. The wolf waits below. Hungry and lonely. Cries to the moon. If only, if only. I mean, how much fun do we want to have? Oh, yo, this is one of those weird Binks decks or something, right? I also enjoy fun, but only sometimes. Uh, this worked for us before. I don't know what they're going to lay, but I like the idea of it a little too much. We don't know what's in their hand, and Morph could be a little dangery. I love, I always forget about it. I love the tech of Atuma revealing at the end of the game so it doesn't blow itself up. That's so good. Atuma behind invisible, <laughs> never seen that. It is, it's very interesting. I, that was fun. I can't complain. I kind of think wherever we played out our, I was gonna call him Red Guardian, um, our US agents, I think we would have been okay. I'm not doing the math on that, but means he can play into super giant. Ooh, good freaking point. Can play into super giant as well. We have Nebula in this deck. Oh, and um, this is not gonna be the last game I play with this deck, but this is the last game I'm gonna play before I have to run ads. Uh, cause that's just how crap goes. Uh, we don't even need, what's her face? Moon girl. We could just sacred timeline this crap. Oh man. But now I want moon girl. <gasps> uh, dude, it's the perfect freaking hand for moon girl. The 
only card I want now is Sunspot. That's not what they wanted at all. Y'all, we are about to have so much fun. Yeah. I'm trying to think, is there a way to finagle a bigger Clintar uh, symbiote? Yeah, maybe. Let's see. Oh, booyah. No, it doesn't work on death, though. Oh, gosh. This is going to be so much fun. Oh, it's Quinjet! I got to recoup something here. Please be Thanos. Oh, buddy! And then Makari goes left. Would you frickin' look at that nonsense? There is no... <laughs> there is no way they could have seen that coming. That's a sad two-power Thanos. Dude! I, I don't even know. I just... I knew I needed a little bit... Wombat Combat Zero, thank you for the follow. I knew that our symbiote needed to be a little bit bigger. Oh, buddy. Oh, I, this deck is weird. And I'm here for it. Wombat Combat. First time chatter. Magical. Important. Even, like, without Quinjet, we're doing really well. Dude, is this a Morph on 3 game? Let's do it. G Fuel, pay this man. I'm, I'm down if they want to. Makari! Do not play Havoc. That would be an incorrect play right now, I think. Controversial opinion. Oh, you have Red Hulk? Okay. It's a good card. Havoc with... <laughs> <laughs> That's a good point. Havoc would get pretty big. Oh, dude, would you look at that hit? Woo! Oh my gosh. Oh, it's so beautiful. <laughs> I can't, I just, I gotta snap. Oh. Guys, we're high, we're high rolling. We're high rolling. We're doing it. Yep. Victory. 
<laughs> oh man. <laughs> yeah, I think they were just, they were a little bit afraid. Dude. 10 infinities. I'm having, this is so much fun today. Holy cow. Oh, buddy. Easiest win of my life. Ish. Oh. Oh. Disgusting. High rolling made possible by this delicious G Fuel brand energy drink. G Fuel. If you suck it, snap. Okay. That's pretty catchy. Eh, I don't like it. I was really excited for a few moments. I'm not excited at all now. Everything sucks. What are we doing here? All right, uh, so what do they play? Is this a... Galactus deck? I want to see what they're playing. G Fuel, it makes you snap! In a, in a good way, for sure. I'm just, I'm slow rolling this a little bit. Grandmaster destroy. Do, do, do. I got some apples. Um, I'm not a massive fan of this play. It's, it's probably, so you think U.S. Agent Mid. I did not try that one yet. That one is on the list. That's the one I thought we were going to park on for forever today. So we'll get there. Enough said, <gasps> the Grandmaster is for final turn. That's such a good idea. <clears throat> Grandmaster the Destroyer to the mid. That's kind of fun. I kind of like that idea. Now we're kind of depending on them to actually do that, but you know, crap happens. I don't think we deserved that win. I think they had a better idea than we did. But we both definitely played some cards. Maybe I overvalue Havoc a bit too much at times. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Venom moving an entire lane is kind of cute, too. Yeah. No, I think they should have won. I'll maintain that. Gamma Lab. I think we... Surprise Heimdall? Yeah. I think Havoc is just going to get chucked in a Gamma Lab. Also, I hate turn one sunspot plays.
Now we'll hold Havoc. Havoc. We'll hold on to Havoc. What do they got? Cersei. And they have either a Moon Girl or a She Hulk. Okay. All right, this is not an optimal moon girl play. Yeah, some kind of brood thing seems correct, but it's turn four now. Oh no. Alright, so they're gonna go for a Cersei final turn, I guess. This is kind of a rough one. Had my morph copy their tribunal, then they played Super Scroll into their onslaught lane, and I had US Agent on the board, and he sent his entire board to negative one in every lane. Bummer for that guy. I don't feel bad though. Tribunal is obnoxious to counter. Okay, so they have Cersei. I think we just go for fun here. They have the potential to high roll better than us. But we have the potential for more fun than them. And I think that's worth something, you know? So many bad hits are possible. Oh, dang it. All right, luck of the draw. Nope, never lucky. Oh. It's okay, that was a good shot. I tried. I tried. This is such a weird deck. Come on, update. I want my stats. Still only minus one cubes now. We can bring this back. Anti-Ethel. You play Agatha? Is that what you're doing? No, okay. I just, I just had a feeling. Glazer said prioritize Ravona. See, we're doing this right. That's what they did too. Murder world. Yeah, you're a cool guy. Machine World is here.
Y'all, by the end of the game, this Havoc is gonna break even. Whoosh. No. <laughs> Dude, of all of the cards, Celine is such a freaking bummer. Um. After, hold on. After the turn, runs out of your hand to a random location if possible. I should have played Havoc mid, I agree with you. So it's, nah, we'll just do it. They have, I'm assuming, Frickin' Makari. Uh, yeah, I was trying to figure out... I guess Makari wouldn't have won it. I was angry for no reason. I miscounted the numbers because Havoc was out. Dang, man. Honestly, we should have... Hold on. If we had played Makari... A three for four. Mid... Nah, I'm not gonna, it, it's not worth it. Did you see the clip of a guy basting his Makari plus Moon Girl on Wong on turn six? No. Is that something that I did wrong? Am I, am I going viral for bad plays? Oh, beasting, not basting. <laughs> Filled his whole hand with Makari and they all jumped out. That's beautiful. Sorry, I, <laughs> I I thought it was just uh yeah, reduced all of their power by one. Nope, different different problem altogether. That's a really interesting idea. There's no way that's good, right? Did he win? That's like the strangest Doctor Doom play of all time. Speaking of strange doom, G Fuel. <clears throat> I don't know. Hmm. It's morphin' time. And we're saving the copied one. Because what if we get something fun? I don't know. It's Modoc. Oh, Carnage. <gasps> oh, they have double Carnage. A Quinjet. Nice. A Cerebro 4 deck that has that many Makaris out seems pretty over the top fantastic. I mean, we don't have anything to lay. The The fun is running out because we are running out of moon girls. And by running out of them, I mean we do not see them anymore. I don't think it's worth playing Nebula. I definitely need to change my underwear. And we, we committed a lot left, but I think that's okay. There's no way that they put enough power left to win. Or I guess put enough cards left to win.
Trying this deck. Just had turn one Sakar. Pull my havoc out. Yeah, that's how crap goes. Welcome to the wonderful world of Newman Luck. It's not a it's not a good place to be. Generally bad things happen. But sometimes good things can happen. Like rare good things can happen. You just gotta keep going. You know, you can't give up. Victory. I admit that the morph play is really dangerous. Because it could be Deathlock. I think that would that would kick our butts. I think. Alright. I'm gonna do a couple more. How long have we been going for? Let me see. Alright, we'll do two more games with this, just because I think it's really fun. I'd love to be cube positive. Nid. A couple morph games. Yes. Just morph. All right. It's junk. They either have Cersei or Annihilus. This is looking fun so far. I'd love to see a She Hulk. All right, we are going to armor left immediately. Oh, nuts. <clears throat> Dude, if we could get a Makari right now, though, that could be fun. We could see some fun things happen. All right. Oh, man. Sammy, well done. I was watching you the other day when you almost hit 10K. That's a good freaking climb right there. Congratulations. Congratulations. You've won. I mean, are we going to YOLO this with Morph? I think Sage is going to be a big deal. I think we play out one of the Sages next turn, no matter what happens. But I feel like Moon Girl, double Sage, double Morph, that's a really good spot to be. Why do I say words? We have a negative three, a two, a three, a zero. Hobgob. Oh, just a Nihilus. <sighs> US agent. Just gonna run it. See what happens. Yo! Victory. <sighs> what a weird. That's a beautiful Galactus. That was a weird final play. All right, one more with this deck, and then it's 
bouncing time. Dang, man. This is so fun. I, like, I know Makari's in here, and Makari's in here because it gets out of your hand, basically. But there's got to be nice replacements for it. I'm always afraid to play out Quinjet turn one because it can do really good stuff. Okay. So we're going to commit a little bit more left. I, They could change Bifrost for sure. Ugh. All right, time for fun. Here we go. More fun. I slipped Wolf's Bane in to have two times one cost Wolf's Bane on six if Quinn plus Moon hit. I like that a lot. So, as I was saying, <clears throat> don't enjoy playing that out that early. I don't even know what else to play right now. I mean, that doesn't make that much sense as a play, in my mind at least. All right, do they have KM? Is this a Killmonger jerk deck? I don't even know what they're playing. Like, this is a weird one. What are they playing? What is what it what is happening? Okay. Victory. I just I'm So US agent left would have won us left. I don't I don't know. There were probably different ways of ending that one. Dude, we're almost at 7500 snap points. If you made it this far in the video, thanks so much for watching. I appreciate it. Make good choices. Remember, you're going to have a great day whether you know it or not. And as always, peace. Thank you guys so much. This was a blast. Enjoy yourselves. Go say hi. Um, yeah. This was a good day. Thanks again.